Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today I'm going to walk you through another little baselining, know your tool kind of exercise. I'm playing a little bit with uh, Nmap, so I want to do a subnet scan. And the interesting part is if you uh, just type Nmap, if you didn't know this, dash SN, lowercase SN, it's called a ping scan, disable port scan. So you would assume ping, literally, ICMP ping, that kind of thing. So I thought I would run it across the subnet and just do a quick capture. So I did a capture with Wireshark and I used a filter for ARP. And you can clearly see how Nmap does its business. Let me just slide this over. So the first things first, we don't need this middle and this bottom, pan, the bottom pane, pardon me. So view, packet details is off, view, packet bytes is off, see that? And I'm left with a bunch of ARPs, that's what I'm left with. And you can see what it's doing. It starts off subnet.1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so on and so on and so on. And what's interesting is uh, when something replies, like this one for example, it says, hey, I know that's me. Here's my MAC address. And then what it does, literally, is it takes that response and it puts that information back up on the screen. There you go. Like that. See? So What's also interesting is it records, it says it came back, it says here's the latency, here's the MAC address, and then it has some sort of lookup for the manufacturer as well. But the point of the exercise is it says ping, which you assume would be one protocol, ICMP, but in fact Nmap is using ARP to do its scan as well. You can also see the, the behavior on how many um, IPs it ARPs for, that kind of thing. The neat thing about an ARP is even if a PC has a firewall up, it will respond to an ARP, whereas a ping, it would have blocked the ping. That's it, folks. I'll, um, you know what, I'll put the files on the article as well in case you want to play with them yourself. Bye for now.